quadripolar psychology model. The basic quadripolar are the four transcendental numbers I, Pi, E and Phi. It's these transcendental numbers to determine the structure of mind of the ten dimensions. The ten dimensions determines the law of physics and our psychology, our functioning. So remember that I is the imaginary point, the point in mind. So it's all the points in mind is the group, the family, the collective, the community, the corporate, whole mind, the Mahayana, the great vehicle, the spirit. This is the point. The point moves, and, we, and as the point moves in and out, we get a circle. As we move in and out of focus, we get a circle, and, and then that circle is a function of pi as we all know, and that is a movement. So movement is a function of pi. Which gives us the first dimension. And that movement, that line drawing on the screen of our minds fades, you know, like it does on, on this screen, as a function of E, the exponential. And that creates the illusion of the second dimension, the screen, the black screen, and there we see the faces. So we get the entoptic of faces, there we get the entoptic of a breast, a circle with a point, which we use as a signal, a circle as a point, the point we're focusing on. We might get into those aspects of psychology a bit later on. So there you've got the basic thing of the vision, seeing the movement and the faces in the first second. Now as this cycle repeats of moving the attention, the gaze, we build up a memory, you know, a, a memory over time. So now we get space-time, the third and the fourth dimensions. And then we get an energy, the, the different levels of movement, of energy levels of that movement. And then from the third and fourth dimension, from the third dimension of space, of the fluid, we get the pressure which arises for touch, the surface tension of the organism, of the cell, of the body. Then we get a fixed pressure map, which gives the, sh the shape and we the idea of an object. And then the objects are all in a particular p posture, a particular orientation and position. So this arises with objects in the world, in our own bodies and in our own minds. So we get a repetition of the attention which forms, th 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 forms this, th 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 this memory or this cycle, and this cycle is, is then represented in this flow of things under pressure. So basically, you, you've got the dark energy, the prana, flowing in through the coaxial, creating the self, and that energy, that flowing energy, there becomes the video signal the video signal which we see or focus on our minds and the third eye. Remember this is the third eye. So you get the attention, the video signal. And the video signal is where our attention goes to the move, moving of different faces. And this is where in therapy we get like the EMDR, the eye movements from, you know, from, from left to right. The opposite way you'd expect, obviously. Yeah, eye, move, eye movements, which is the attention. 
So we can examine in our psychology and in our self-understanding, we can see the focus of our attention, our jumping attention, where it jumps from object to object. And so we can see you know, what our motive is, what our intent is, and what the intention of, of, of others is. And we can remember and recall situations. Is this focusing of the attention? So this, so this, is, what we, this is what we know as thought. And this is, it comes out on a yearly basis. We have a yearly cycle of thought. What are we going to do this Christmas? Where are we going to go on holiday next year? How are we, what, how are we going to balance the books, pay the taxes, you know, change the system? How are we going to vote you know, this year? What's going to be the change? How is the, the season going to be? How is the harvest going to be? Is it going to be a good growing season? The yearly thought... You know, the, the, if you like, the reality. You know, we can't deal with next year. We've got to deal with this year. So, we, we, first of all, we have the year. So we tie this as the sun, the central sun, for the cycle of the year. And as I said, this is the cycle of the, this continuous movement of the attention from the vision. From that, over time, over the month, remember this is the month, or the month, we shouldn't get mixed up with our arbitrary Roman months. These are lunar months. These, this is the month, so this becomes the moon. So our life, our nature, evolved with these cycles, as I've explained in my book on the clock, on my video of the clock in an energy cycle of the year and of the moons. So obviously the full moon is like the sun at night and a big social event. So there's a natural cycle of the moons and then we have a natural cycle of things which is, the, which is the diet, the food, which is the work, work and week and worship are all like the same root thing, we work, our worship is work and we have a weekly cycle of work and rest which even that has been changed, Not we shouldn't have a seven day week we should have a six day week and rest on Mondays, there should be no Sunday, we should always rest on Mondays as the day of rest and then we rest out on the seventh day again. You count it. You need to rest on the seventh day. You need a six day week. So they've altered everything. They've altered the months to disrupt our natural cycles. So you've got to understand this. Understand our minds. Understand our natures from the natural cycles. So we're trying to understand them sort of artificially. From some sort of corporate ethos. You know, what you told, what the obedience, what the rule is, you know, do you, you work 40 hours or this is your shift or, you know, the imposition, we, this is our nature. So this is, so the attention, we can see our attention move and then we can see the monthly cycle the monthly is like having something to look forward to. It's also, you can see even with that, well, even with the word, I say monthly, you immediately think of the neck of the woman's course. Not a curse, a woman's course, a natural course. The monthly cycle of the sexual hormones and of the, if you like, the sexual love life, social life of the community. And here we have. So in society, in relating to each other, we basically have the word. So just like we can judge and see ourselves in the movement of our attention, it's like a continuous movement, this continuous of the flow of the prana as it flows down through us, through the superpixels, 
through our inner expressing in our nature as it's projected into our nature we get this flow of attention which comes out as thought just our thinking and then as that generates that comes out in terms of our monthly cycle monthly cycle of society, our life, our social life, our sex life, you know, our, our, our obsessive natures, what we're moving for from day to day, and then this is the words where we talk to each other, and words basically are about planning different things at different times, you know, making a date, a time, date and time. This is the monthly cycle, this, you know, the full moon. But, 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 but this, this sexual energy, just like the, the, the attention is a flow of energy, the sexual energy is a flow of energy, the social life is a flow of energy. And then we come down onto the world of actions. It's thought, words and deeds, actions. The world of actions, we're under pressure, it's basically the pressure signal. Just like words is obviously the audio signal, we're under pressure that pressure is about the pressure of having to work for food you know, the, the, you know if you like the hunger and this is our daily routine isn't it this is all about routine the daily routine to work to get food and the daily routine of eating food and touching you know shopping you know getting money and then that becomes on the monthly routine you know this social life our love life our social life and then all the time there's this flow of attention that we give each other and relate to each other. So, so, <coughs> so do you see these three actions? There's the physical action, the emotion, emotional, the social action, and then there's the action of the intent. See, in, in psychotherapy, in counselling, you've got the EMDR and the eye movements, You've got the CBT for the move for the movements and the attachment of words, the judgments, and then you've got the REBT for the relationship, for the communication. But rational, emotionally, basically, you know, relationship, balancing a relationship, not just being intellectual or emotional, neither of which are useful. You know, relationship has got to be. You know, a marriage of the two in that that's called reasoning you know it's reaching the heart not just laying down a dogma or a bullying it's got to be that participation that give and take that mutual respect which is what reason REBT implies but you can see how these are functionings between the different points of the quadripolar mind so you've got the continuous flow of energy here the video signal in this triangle the audio signal in this triangle and the pressure signal in this triangle this is on a daily basis isn't the pressure for food and work and then sleep the monthly basis the cycle, the sexual cycle, uh, if you like, of sex, and then recovery, and so what I mean, old party time, then recovery, work, rest, and play, the work-life balance, this is about diet. So we can see the quadripolar psychology, we can see that the flow of the attention, you know, the flow of the words, the tone of the words, the tone of the voice, you know the stress, the peace, you know the anger that comes out in the voice, you know because of the system, because of the uh, pressure of the of the others, through different controllers. You know putting group their group think, political group think upon us rather than us flowing, rather than us following nature, following our nature. got the words, so you've got the, the soundtrack, you know, the making appointments, the routine, the schedule, 
the, 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 we've got the words about the smell, you know, the, the, if you like, the polite words of the diplomat. Here we've got the words of the officer, you know, the orders, the commands, the timetables we must keep. And there we have the heat, you know, whether the heat's on the friction in relationships, in society. So we've got these monthly cycles, daily, monthly, and yearly cycles that are over the years have built up, that, you know, that form our nature, that are the, if you like, the shells of our nature, like a tree, those different years, those different thoughts, you know, that have built up our minds and our psychology each year and then our different experiences in society with each other our love life and friendships and frictions you know the, the sweet music and the clashing the words the angry words all here you know like a continuous and, and then the pressure for food for hunger here the, you know these cycles based upon these ten dimensions which are built on the four transcendentals, the basic quadrupolar core. come on to you know the extreme when we get when we see extreme movements you know because we can see the course of action of this movement we become paranoid you know we can see things happening you know the child walking into the corner of the chair or the table Obviously with the faces, when we see faces, grumpy faces, negative faces, critical faces, we, you know, in our families, because all of this goes deep, remember, in the cycle, and this flow of attention and the monthly and, year, and daily cycle built up, is built up in the child. You know, you should see my developmental psychology, one of six, number one, it goes into the structures there. So here we see faces, the faces of the mother, or the relationships with the mother, whether the mother's critical, loving, disinterested, psychotic, deluded. All of these things are coming to the faces, so we see those faces in our minds. If we see too many faces, you know, especially those in those first two months of life, if we're in too disturbed or hectic an environment, if there isn't that focused loving relationship, you know, within the family group, with the father and the mother and the, and the siblings, or if there's friction and things, then we get a form of, we get schizophrenia. If we have too much imagination, I, the imagination, if we imagine too many words and too many actions that we're going to do, we're going to do this, that and the other, then we, it's, it's mania. When we're running about in our imagination think, you know, thinking we're doing this, that and the other, mania, too many thoughts and actions, too many words and actions that we're thinking of. If our plans are thwarted uh, and we don't see the good in things, you know, if we don't get our own way, if we sink into ourselves, into our, our well of self-pity, then we get depressed with no words and no actions. We just sink into it, but we need to get out into the words, into the social life, and get out and get a, a balance in our diet and our exercise routine, our physical action routine, our work routine. This is for good mental health. Now people can have different therapies, 
you know, and, and, and different ideas, but they all integrate onto this structure. The quadripolar psychology that gives rise to the ten dimensions. It gives rise to these three levels and the natural influences of the year, the sun, the moon and the earth. Our attention, our social life and our unfulfilled, our act physical actions in existing and this is what these layers and these things build up our minds and there's some real events that actually happen we can have other psychological theories you know, to explain different isolations you know different complexes but this is the working model and you'll see that in my other videos for things I haven't covered now rather than try to do everything in, in this one video. I hope you appreciate it.